All right, guys, thanks for joining me again. This is going to be another War of the Spark box opening. You saw my son open his box that I got him. So this one is going to be the one I got myself. So as we open it up here, if you couldn't tell, he isn't very adept at what he's doing yet, which is fine. But it does make it hilarious. So here we go. Three stacks. Here we go. Come on, Pack. You can open. All right, skip all the junk. Get to the uncommons. Here we go. We got uh, Heartwarming Redemption, Bolt Bend, Tail, Shield Mage, Living Twister for the rare. everything so if you weren't watching little Bob pulled a Nico Bolas I'm hoping I am that lucky all right apex hybrid actually really really like this card super good card it's part of my color set that I like to play with so I'm really excited to use it very soon Ambushed, Hybrid Scorn, All right, Nahiri, Niv, Mizzet Reborn, awesome, Mythic to pull, great card, awesome. All right, so that's a pack number three, pack number four, here we go. All right, toss those guys down, Halt, Halt, Haltley. And Karn's Bastion. Karn's Bastion, pretty good, rare land. Here we go. Boom. All right. Here we go. We got uh, Rubber Belt Raiders, Bond of Revival, Veraska. That's pretty good. And bang, the Raise Boar shows up. Man, cannot complain about that. That is great. On top of that, we got ourselves a foil mountain. Always love the shiny lands. All right, come on. What do we got in here, huh? Take the commons out. Bond of Discipline. Price of Betrayal. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. And Oath of Kaya. Ooh, and then we got a foil Vraska. I like that. That is good. So three Mythics so far out of the first stack of packs. I cannot complain. Wow. That is a good pull so far. And the Mythics that I did get are very good. Here we go. Chandra, Fire Artisan. Good. So the pre-release that we went to uh, a week ago, actually I pulled out junk out of the pre-release pack. No, no gods, no uh, legendary creatures of any kind. I, I didn't even get very good sorceries out of the deal. But this box is definitely making up for it so far. Valley of Wings, tenth district, uh, tenth district legionnaire, uh, another hotly. And a Blast Zone. Blast Zone, good to just mess somebody up. Good, good, good. All right. All right, Commons out. Death Sprout. Price of Betrayal again. Another hand grab. All right. Cranko, Tin Street Kingpin. Good, all right. He's a good goblin to have around, right? All right, plow through the commons. It's the uncommon bleeding edge, devouring hellion, smut, 
Tyrant Smasher, and Bioessence Hydra. I like Bioessence Hydra. Again, it plays within my colors of blue and green. Typically what I play, if you couldn't tell from my last couple, I was buying Simic Guild Kits and uh, blue-green packs and building a Simic deck for Standard and whatnot. So that is what I like and what I'm comfortable in playing in, but any cards that are decent. Blue-green, yep, another Merfolk Skydiver. I have a bunch of these, but I like them a lot. And uh, Feather the Redeemed. It's a great card. The white-red is actually pretty strong this turn. I like it a lot. All right. Bond of Passion. God Pharaoh Statue. Narset Partner Veils. Single combat. All right. I just uh, tossed the token. So there's that. But I got it back. We're good. Uh, Augur of Bolas, uh, Lazotep Planting, and uh, Tomink. Tomic. Is it Tomic? Uh, Distinguished Advocist. All right, cool. So, no more Mythic so far. We are in the second stack. I think that was the second pack in the second stack. Sounds good. Hoping for another three Mythics. Hey, that'd be great. Okay. Bam! Sarkon. Awesome. Great card to have. Cool. Thanks for showing up, Sarkon. Way to go. Alright. And Time Wipe. Great card. Come on, Mythic. Come on, I want a bolus too, so I really want uh, I want a couple boluses, huh? Can I get like four boluses in this one pack? Can they just like screw up and do that for me real quick? Just like, whoops, sorry for all the boluses. Oh yeah, it's okay. The Ender Spell. Just one time, just for me. Just send me a, a zillion boluses. Uh, Tyrant Scorn, Bond Flourishing, uh, Bond of Flourishing, Omnixilis, and Karn's Bastion again. Okay, so we got two Karn's Bastion. Uh, we got uh, the Raised Boar. We have uh, the Reborn Dragon Avatar, Miz. Good to go. Here we are. Get the, the commons out of the way. And Narset's Reversal. All right. Did see a foil. Oh, I'm kind of excited for it. All right. Parhelion 2. And the foil is... Oh, Iron Bully. Well, it's foily nonetheless. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Gotta love the foilies. Still no more Mythics in this stack yet. You know, who knows? Maybe uh, the Mythics will only be in the outer, outer stacks. Okay. All right, Bolas Citadel, pretty decent rare. I like that a lot. It's a fun card. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play the top card of your library if you cast a spell this way. Pay life equal to the converted mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. Sacrifice 10 non-land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. Woo! That is righteous. I think that's going to be a super strong commander card. And a Johnny, awesome. The Johnny's a nice, strong planeswalker. Uh, has been in a lot of different sets. Hasn't really been played too much. I don't know even if this guy's going to be played there very much either. 
But he has four mana for a five loyalty counter Planeswalker, so that's pretty decent. All right, Hotley's Raptor, Neoform. I don't actually, I'm not familiar with this one. As an additional to pain, to, it, as an additional cost to cast this card. Sacrifice creature, search your library for a creature card with a converted mana cost equal to one, plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost. Put the card onto the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter. And then shuffle your library. I, I actually like that a lot. That's a fun one. And bam! Got Eternal Oketra. Awesome. Got a Mythic Rare Zombie God. Gotta love that. That's a good one. Gotta love getting those gods. Now, after watching a lot of videos online about these boxes, those Mythic Gods, if you get a couple of them, that typically means you're going to get another one or two, uh, depending on... Uh, what the box is centered around. They do seem to be pre-packed. So if you're getting gods, you're getting a bunch of gods. If you're getting a planeswalkers, you're getting a bunch of different rare planeswalkers. So we'll have to see where this goes. Commence the end game. Great card again. This set is just real solid. I like this set a lot. Fun times. A lot of really good cards in it. Living Twister once again. So we got two Living Twisters and a Death Sprout Foil. So that's pretty good. All right. This is the third pack, or third stack, I should say, of packs. Okay, here we go. So we got three Mythics in the first stack, one in the second. Let's hope for a couple more. And the Lost, whatever that is. It's a homunculus, but it's definitely lost to all of us on how to pronounce that. Alrighty. Commons out of the way. Enter the God Eternals. Nope, that's not a mythic. That is just a rare, but great card nonetheless. And here we go. Leyline Prowler, Nisa's Triumph, Invade the City, and Liliana which makes an appearance here for us all today. Liliana, great Mythic Rare, great Planeswalker, some really good abilities. I think it's going to be really, really, really powerful when it comes down to this amass characteristic that everybody has, uh, creating zombie creatures, uh, <laughs> you're drawing cards whenever zombies die, and then you can just re-amass, and uh, they uh, they re reappear. The zombie army just appears. So I think it's going to be very useful, very fun. Really excited to play some standard tournaments sometime. See what's going on. Storm the Citadel, uh, Bond of Insight, another Jaya that's great. Casualties of War. Choose one or more. Destroy target. Artifact. Creature. Enchantment. Land. Planeswalker. Great card. Really, really utilitarian. Something to probably sideboard and not use as primary, but uh, it's also pretty steep at six mana. Okay. And there we are. Tamio, Collector of Tales. It's a good rare planeswalker. So we have four, five mythics in this box so far. Uh, still waiting for one more to show up. Let's cross our fingers, hope for that. Uh, hopefully it's Bolas, right? But being that my son pulled the Bolas, my statistics of pulling a Bolas out of this box are infinitely less. All right. All right, Dead, uh, Dread Horde Invasion. All right. Paradise Druid, Rescuer Sphinx, Dovin's Veto, 
Nisa, who shakes the world. Awesome card. Super fun. So whenever you play, whenever a forest is tapped for mana, an additional forest. Add an additional forest. That is a good card to have in a mono green stompy deck. And, you know, keep calm. Smash, smash, smash. Here we go. Johnny's Pride Mate, solid card. Elite Guard Mage. And Soren makes his appearance. Soren. Oh, and then a foil rare of the lost. Yep, we still are lost on what the heck your name is. So just so y'all know, when he uh when he enters the battlefield, draw a card. If it entered from your library or it was cast from your library, draw two cards instead. When he becomes a target of a spell, shuffle him into your, <laughs> into the owner's library. Okay, well, it's lost on me how you would use that, but that sounds like a good fun time. All right, here we go. Gleaming Overseer, Jiang, and God Eternal Romnus. Six Mythic Box. Awesome, awesome pulls so far. Super happy with this box. Definitely redeemed itself from the stupid pre-release box that I got. Uh, might get some more pre-release boxes just for fun. Uh, here coming up in the next week or so. We'll have to see uh, Eternal Skylord, Rescuer Sphinx, Dovin's Veto. Boom! Bolas! Pull the Bolas! Si seventh Mythic in the pack was Bolas. Can't believe it. Awesome. Super excited. Oh my god. Woo. <laughs> oh man. That is awesome. <laughs> you know, Wizards, you did me a solid. You made one show up. Thanks a lot. You're the best. Eternal Skylord, Gideon's. Yeah, who even cares about this stuff anymore? Massacre Girl. Got another Massacre Girl. I have one of those already uh, from pulling the random packs uh, from some of the boxes they were selling previous to uh, the release of War of the Spark. I know some of the, like the Jace and the Gideon pre-release, or uh, not pre-release, but the uh, pre-packs, the pre-made deck packs. Uh, I did pull a Massacre Girl from out of one of those. So that was pretty great. Blast Zone. Another Blast Zone. Awesome. So that is it. Bolas, Liliana shows up. Three of the gods. A Niv, Mizet, Reborn, Apex Hybrid. Couldn't have done better. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe, like, link, make a comment. Thanks for, thank you very much.